Good day everyone, we're Group 6 from Great 10 Brother Hartman. We're going to present our research paper titled Feasibility of Using Solar Powered Aquaphonic Gardening System. We have come up with this study because urbanization affects the economy and the environment. A data from Statista reveals that the Philippines' urbanization percentage from 2009 to 2019 grew up to 1.82%. From 45.32%, urbanization percentage became 47.15% in the span of only nine years, which can result to poverty and pollution. So the researchers included studies about conventional farming, such as aquaponics, since aquaponics can be the solution for urbanization. Aquaponics is proven six times more effective than the conventional garden. According to Salinave, Diver, and Rinse, it helps plants to grow well. Aquaponics is applicable for supplying food to locals, and it may have a huge help in producing crops when in urban places. Aquaponics solves issues such as having lack of space, lack of manpower, insufficient growing of plants, and etc. And also, water use is decreased by 80%. Because water is continuously recycled, losses are due to evaporation, and bits of plants and, and bits of it are per plant consumption. According to Bernstein 2011, Bernstein shares the idea of how water makes a big influence for aquaponics. The quality of water has a major impact to be used for aquaponics. And regarding proper measurement of pH level, ppm, and temperature, Salinay, Martinez, Mann, Yalspa, and Forsuade also added that in having an aquaponics system, the water should have the right amount of pH level, ppm, also known as parts, parts per million, and temperature. Having the right amount of pH level, PPM, and temperature helps in making the plants grow. The plants can be healthier and it can produce more. Fish, which also has an association with the study because they discharge, discharge ammonia, which gives a big impact for the aquaponics too. Ammonia holds the three components of the water, PPM, pH level, and the temperature. Ammonia is usually present as ammonium NH4 positive that passes through the fish cell membranes and ultimately spreads out into the water. As the fish discharges ammonia, it gets right to the plants as it cycles. When the stocking densities are high, the researchers are required to test and check the ammonia every 10 to 14 days for the ponds and at least once a week for the tanks. When the fish breathes CO2 into the water, CO2 will be converted into carbonic acid. When the CO2 become, becomes carbonic acid, the pH level begins to trend down immediately, and when the system is low, it is needed to add calcium carbonate and continue tracking the pH level. To make the aquaponic system work, solar panels are good for giving it energy. The solar panel will help it function automatically, and not only that, but also solar panel reduces energy waste as it acquires sun rays to work and immediately convert it to electricity. Solar panels also prevent ga green gas emissions and lessens use of fossil fuels. Although solar panels don't produce energy at night, they still continue to provide power through net metering in, in which surplus power is transferred to a public utility power grid. Lastly, solar panels generate their own power and can therefore reduce the monthly electrical bill. That's all. Thank you. How can the researchers fix the system if it all functions? Although all efforts are made for this project to be 100% error-proof, it may encounter some glitches. Researchers will make sure that there is a chart to be followed like number of fish, level of pH, testing ammonia, among others. The system will be observed and monitored daily to check if there will be adjustments and also to identify immediately if there are malfunctions and can be immediately resolved. What is the importance of using aquaponics powered by solar energy? Aquaponics powered by solar energy is like hitting two birds with one stone, or even better. Both aquaponics and solar energy are great help to stop climate change. Since both methods are environmentally friendly, these are also efficient, safe, and economical. The availability of the sun used as large-scale solar energy in aquaponics will promote self-contained basis. And lastly, what is the importance of having sensors for getting the PPM, pH, and temperature level in terms of the plant's growth and development and the effects of the level? Heat and light are the heart and soul of aquaponics after the water. Plants and fish are in place. We have to check the parts per million or PPM or the chemical or contaminate unit volume of water and pH or the acidity in water. Both should be monitored in aquaponics to ensure the quality of the water and to ensure the water is safe. Even the temperature of the water must be frequently checked since high temperature in water may cause harm both to the fish and plants in an aquaponics system. That's all. Thank you. For our significance of the study, making self-sustaining food system can help us during the pandemic. 
especially now that it is risky to go out, and the prices now is high in the market. U using electricity for fully self-sustaining food system gives high electricity costs. That's why the research aims to use solar panel to help lessen the electricity costs. The research also aims to help our farmers in growing crops. This system does not need any weather, any place, and time of the year. Places such as Metro Manila, Metro Cebu, Metro Davao, and other metro cities here in the Philippines are urbanized and does not have any places for our crops to be planted. The research gives explanation why is the system important in helping our gr growing plants. Even in the urban places, it is easy to make and easy to generate. The research is making aquaponics more economical than the other organic farming with the materials that is needed in operating the system, such as the water needed. The system does not need a lot of water and the water in the aquaponics can be recycled. The research aims to prove that the aquaponics isn't harmful for farming, but it is part of innovative farming. That's all, thank you. Our scope and limitation is that we aim to make the product efficient by planning our study thoroughly. Our study focuses on making the product automatic in parts by using solar panels. This research is conducted to help people and farmers alike in being informed of doing aquaponic gardening. Our research aims to help urban cities in production of crops in a more accessible way. 52 seeds will be used to test our product and the researchers will be active on it inspecting it and make sure that the product can be of no harm to the environment and to the people. That's all. Thank you. The PVC pipes are the primary materials needed for the mechanism. The construction of the frame will mainly rely on this. The battery will be the source of power as well as the solar panels. The power will be stored in the battery supply. The water pump mechanism is the main component for the aquaponics and water circulation. After setting up the mainframe of the plants for the plants, for the aquaponics will be next. The water will be included in the setup to ensure if the circuitry is safe from erosion. Silicon sealant will be used to secure the circuitry and the battery will be covered. The last part is the finishing design. Aesthetics will be done. Materials and methods, net pots are used to anchor the plants in the system. They can be used with or without a grow medium. Solar panel helps the system conserve energy. Also used to convert light from the sun, which is composed of particles of energy, into electricity that can be used to power electrical loads and aids in fighting emission of greenhouse fossil fuels. Mini circuit protect an installation or appliance against sustained overloading and short circuit faults. Storage box, it catches the water from the NFP system. PVC pipe used for manufacturing sewage pipes, water mains, and irrigation, possessing very long-lasting properties. PVC pipes are easy to install, lightweight, strong, durable, and easily recyclable, making them cost-efficient and sustainable, and NP pipe is used to connect pipelines on the system. <laughs> and inside the tube where the tank connects to the system is a filter. The researchers will use cheese coat as it is studied to be efficient enough for filtering out microparticles in water so the water, when it cycles, would come in clean for the plants. And that's all. This is our wiring diagram. We have only little products that will function for the system. Anyway, we have the Arduino where here in which where the coding function and the outcome of the temperature will be. And beside the Arduino is the breadboard where the connections will be so it would work. And here we have the potentiometer to control the device. And we have the TMP36 also connected to the DS18B20 that is synced into the water tank, who will physically perceive the water's temperature and its LCD. That is 16 by 2 that will display the temperature itself. And lastly, we have the water quality checker or monitor which gathers the water's PPM, also known as parts per million and its pH level. For the, the overall total cost of the, the, all the materials are 29,409.31 pesos. This is separated into four. The first one is the NFT, which we will be using PVC pipes in a storage box that will cost around 
16,563.5 pesos. And the second one is the sensors and Arduino Uno that will cost a total of 6,273.81 pesos. The third one is the plants, net pots, soil, and pumps that will cost around 1,082 pesos. And for the last one is the sonar or panel which costs 5,490 pesos. That's all. Thank you.